so what are you doing this is our girl sam and today i think i i'm going to do a video and i know a lot of males are not going to like this video but um this video is going to be about facts guys um too often times um i'm seeing females being disrespected by their spouse baby father husband whatever boyfriend whatever it is um you know i think women should be respected by every single man guys it's not easy if you're pregnant for nine months and uh, carry picnic on this earth girl let me tell you guys not everybody have smooth sailing pregnancy i can use my pregnancy as an example my pregnancy was a very very rough when i said rough i mean rough tough everything you name it my pregnancy was very very terrible and uh, when i look at what i have been through if i was supposed to be disrespected well disrespected guys sorry by my husband or any other gentleman man boy or whatever the situation is it would just be too sad guys my pregnancy in my first what three months three and a half months of pregnancy i lost 18 and a half pounds i wasn't eating i wasn't drinking water i was throwing up like probably i was vomiting probably four to five times per day i couldn't keep down anything i wasn't eating anything and um, at one point in time when i started vomiting i was vomiting blood and uh, I was told by the doctor that my stomach wall was weak because I wasn't eating anything. And I, would, I even remember when I was at work. And when I go to work in the morning, I'll be in the sick bay all day sleeping, sleeping. Even. And the worst part about it, I was so hungry most of the times. And uh, even though I'm feeling hungry, it, it is as though I was, I couldn't eat anything. So also i don't know if how many of you have um experienced this rough kind this kind of rough pregnancy also got this metallic taste in the mouth that make your mouth feel bad 24 all day for the whole nine months my mouth is bad everything just tastes different to me every single thing and uh, when i was home I couldn't do anything every my boy well at the time oh well it's like my brother was saying that um you can't do this i remember one night i have to be rushed to the hospital because we i woke up with a pool of blood guys like i said it wasn't a normal pregnancy it was a rough one and uh i know a lot of women out there who have experienced similar pregnancy problems with no body no baby father nothing by them side to help them guys man boy husband spouse whatever you want to call themselves we don't need for the better woman go through too much and i think we're in, well let me not say we well some of us are not being appreciated for what it is our body has done it's not easy to carry on picking up for nine months now your belly sick the entire nine months i know every woman got through smooth sailing pregnancy and even if they got through smooth sailing pregnancy delivery when it comes to the point of delivering guys your life is at risk there's no guarantee that you'll make it out of potato there's guys when i listen and i remember when i was supposed to have baby i was iffy about first i remember i went and booked at spanish town hospital and uh, i was listening to the news and there was this girl that i knew and uh, she was induced um from the thursday she was somewhere from bugwalk side i don't remember her name i knew her from high school but she was in one grade ahead of me and uh, they induced her from the thursday 
and uh, nobody went to look at the girl nobody was paying her any mind and uh, when they went to look at her i think it was a friday afternoon saturday morning i don't want to tell a lie guys you can go and google this news i don't remember exactly how it went or oh. But I know when they actually went, like a day before, a day after per se, they went to look at her. She was dead. Both her and her baby, they were both dead. Guys, everybody knows eh? the public system that Jamaica sucks. And I'm sorry to say that. And people like to say, we, we like to say free hospital. It's not free. Because we are we as taxpayers um, are paying for it. Because the hospital cannot run without funds. We are where is the fun coming from? You understand? So, but too often times, the public sector workers, not all of them, some of them, no matter how you're in the hospital and you call them, they act as though they don't hear you or they think that you're, they are better than you are. I don't know. For some reason, I don't like public hospitals. I've never been hospitalized before, right? And uh, I always tell myself, I don't want to be taken to a public hospital if I'm supposed to get sick. I might not reach and have the money to go to the private ones, but sometimes I feel like it's best I stay home and die at home. Because the public sector, like I said before, some of them, they don't know how to deal with people. They don't know how to talk to people. They act as though they don't care. I remember my sister-in-law, she has baby in um, at Jubilee, and she was asking for assistance to go to the bar room, and all she was calling, nobody was answering her. And she got up and went to use the bathroom and she fell and hit her head in there. And trust me guys, head hit is not a nice hit. It could have caused her life. So I'm saying this to say that I, am, I, I got so scared. And I said to my husband, I'm not going to Spanish town. And I went and I booked Andrews. First, it was Andrews that was my first choice. But because of what happened to the young lady... That um that they thought had COVID, but when I was looking back at the whole situation, I was like, okay, then I'm also gonna pray and have faith, and I'm going by and just to have my baby, guys. I went to and just to have my baby, and uh, trust me, it was an experience that I won't forget. <laughs> well, nobody could ever forget the experience of giving birth, anyways. But I'm just doing this video to say, guys, we as women go through a lot. Our body goes through a lot. A whole lot. And uh, it kind of pains and hurts me to see so many single parents out there with no help. Because, bop, as man out, man talk, everything nice when baby make an, a time for responsibility to take up. Them just take with themselves. And it's, you know, the worst part about it, sometimes the children are being affected by it. And uh, 9 out of 10 times, they don't take care of the children. But then when they pass the worst, they might tell people about my son and my daughter. And, you know what I mean? Man, I stand up on a foot and play on a part. We have too much single parents in Jamaica. And I don't know. I'm, I'm only speaking for Jamaica because I haven't seen the statistic for any other country. But uh, it's all the crime rate in Jamaica, guys. It's all the crime rate. I, every day people are dead, are dead like dog. And I am thinking these some of these young men that are causing, that are killing people are from broken families. Like families that where there's no male figure to look up to. You understand? I'm not saying that persons don't come from good women still go to kill and rub and thief and the whole works. But I'm saying there are too many broken families. And when I say broken families, I don't mean that you have to marry them or whatever, but at least... You have a child, stand up and play your part. Do what you have to do. My mother has six of us and she's never rich. And I want to me know for sure. When I was going to school, I was I never ever absent from school because of money. Because she always make sure, say, when she work and get her little money, our lunch money come out there first before she even do anything. I regular me she says she wants a sip as on her foot. But she just have to draw the piece and match the money she has on her foot until she can afford one. So, guys, me a big no. If you don't know, so no further responsibility when where children are concerned, on where condom, I no abstain. Because me know else to tell someone, you know, it kind of rough. And some of them, I'm being, and then again, you know, the whole thing is that 
sometimes um you're there with the you're still in a relationship with the mother of the child but you you really and she not doing anything and i don't think i don't i don't think it's supposed to be just there like a silent partner and thing you're supposed to be the head of the home so guys we're gonna do clean up parts and do enough to do for make sure so not putting them eat but now tell them some teeth but um same thing where you eat the penny can eat it too Make sure it's the opinion. All right, because someone want have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten woman, and on the picnic, a woman and mother and father down the yard are hungry. Not not enough for them eat, but you're not taking the one who have flowers and the eye for look woman. Guys, I'm just think that one partner is enough. Gone are the days when people see crazy over six. Six is like, uh, oh, I don't know what is it about sex that you guys don't think that you can be satisfied by one person. The but just, but just, guys just stand up playing a responsible play on a party and put them life because the way things I got Jamaica right now is that probably tomorrow morning open the door and can't come out. You understand? Because everybody are living in a fear. So each day I live, you have to just say, God, thank you for today. Thank you because a whole heap of people got in bed last night and I wake up back this morning. All the people just walk go to the road and boop away from the show to them dead. And their life was robbed from them. And so I'm saying this, guys. Do what you have to do. Alright? Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, please go ahead and do so. And tell a friend about this channel. You know, the world works. And uh, yeah. If you want to watch the video, don't want to like them. Just subscribe, guys. Do me a big one. You understand? Me a big one. Have a great day. I'm big up on myself.